see phasor diagrams are very crucial in synchronous okay without phasor diagram we cannot get any conclusion and frankly speaking v and inverted v curves are not at all required we are going to solve all the problems okay of gauge standard and like you know theoretical problems also we are going to theoretical analysis also we are going to do but for all those v and inverted v curves are not at all required okay see if it is a generator okay for example let me think of this okay generator connected with infinite bus only we are going to deal in this concise sessions okay vd at an angle zero and my current is like this for example a a1 okay so 90 degrees to a 90 degrees to a 90 degrees to a a a axis will be there is it generator or motor generator why f from here is leading okay so this is going to be f now f is leading vt means that it should be generated this is going to be delta and this is going to be pi okay for example in this the active power is constant p is going to be constant let us consider okay excitation is variable let us consider excitation in the sense if is going to be variable if is variable means that if should be variable okay now p is constant what is p already we know that f vt by x is sin delta vt is infinite source constant x is going to be machine constant so directly proportional to f sin delta okay so p is constant means that ef sin delta should be constant okay so what is ef sin delta ef delta opposite vf sin delta so this is ef sin delta which is related to active power okay that should be constant so ef sin delta is constant so p is constant now let us try to vary field current means that means if is directly proportional to ef induced voltage okay so for example if i try to reduce ef okay means my ef should be in between these two only should be in between these two only for example if i reduce length of ef it will follow here for example ef is here this is going to be ef2 ef1 okay so ef2 length of ef is reduced or not yes so field current is reduced okay but though field current is reduced my infinite bus uh, voltage cannot be changed now ef sin delta of black and ef sin delta of blue is going to be same the active power is going to be same the excitation is reduced then what happened from over excitation it became normal excitation okay means that for example if I, ef2 is here where is ia2 excess vt should not be changed so this is going to be ia2 excess if ia2 excess is like this 90 degrees to ia2 ia2 excess ia2 should be there now we have one more formula that is p vt ia cos pi so p is constant means that anyway vt is constant in the given problem p is constant vt is anyway constant so that means that ia cos pi should be constant okay where is ia cos pi ia1 pi1 so ia cos pi so this is going to be ia cos pi ia cos pi should be constant okay so the moment p is constant means that ef sin delta should be constant ia cos pi should be constant okay now for example if ia2 excess is like this okay actually few people because of their previous friction few people may not understand at starting okay the advantage of this particular recorded session says like you know you can revise revise you can redo rewatch multiple times so take that advantage and try to rewatch the video again and again and again till you get proficiency here okay so if ia2 excess is here ia2 should be 90 degrees to ia2 excess and ia2 should be here now if you see active power ia cos pi ia1 cos pi1 and ia2 cos pi2 which is cos pi2 is going to be unity here is going to be same or not yes so active power same is maintained now let us think of for example 
if EF2, EF2 length is reduced. This is EF3. Okay. So, length of EF is reduced, reduced, reduced. Now, IA2 excess should be like this. IA3 excess. This black is IA3 excess. 90 degrees to here. 90 degrees to here. Going through here. 90 degrees from here. Now, 90 degrees to here. This is going to be IA3. Okay. So, IA1 cos pi 1 equal to IA2 equal to IA3 cos pi 3 is going to be same. Now, for example, if I reduce EF, this is called as EF minimum. Okay. If it is EF minimum. Okay. So, my length of EF is reduced. Length of EF is reduced. Length of EF is reduced. Length of EF is reduced such that EF minimum is nothing but EF sin delta. Okay. Now, if it is here, my IA, VT should not be changed. EF is here. So, 90 degrees to here, this is going to be IA3 axis. 90 degrees to here is going to be IA3 or IA4. Okay. So, this is 90 degrees. Now, if you see, means IA1, IA1 cos pi 1 equal to IA2 cos pi 2 equal to IA3 cos pi 3 equal to IA4 cos pi 4. Okay, so active power here or active power here or active power here or active power here is going to be same. But reactive power if you observe, okay, what is reactive power equation Q output is going to be Vt by Xs into EF cos delta minus Vt. Okay, so Vt is anyway constant, Xs is anyway constant because one is infinite source and another one is machine constant. So forget about it, EF cos delta minus Vt, so EF cos delta because this is delta EF cos delta minus Vt this piece positive so it will supply reactive power and so it is going to be over excited okay now if you see blue EF cos delta equal to Vt EF cos delta equal to Vt so it will neither deliver nor absorb reactive power so it is going to be normal excitation and here if EF3 is here EF3 is here. If EF3 is here, means EF sin delta is same, but EF cos delta is less than Vt. EF cos delta is less than Vt. So Q supply is going to be negative. If Q supply is negative, means that it will absorb what is a reactive power. When alternators absorb reactive power, when load connector should be capacity in nature. Capacitor will deliver. Alternator has to absorb. When it will happen, capacitor is connected across the alternator. Capacitor dominated means that means that alternator has to absorb at leading power factor. So IA3 is leading with respect to VT. VT is fixed. Okay. So this is going to be EF minimum. At EF minimum, IA4 excess. IA4 90 degrees to IA4 excess. This is going to be like you know from here only directly we can get what do you say VN inverted V, but anyway not required. Okay. So this is going to be the phasor. Now, in alternator only, in alternator only, if IF is constant, power vary, power vary, how my phasor diagram is going to change, let us see, okay. So, means for example, here, here, let me think of VT is constant, infinite source, means IA is like this, IA1 is like this. 90 degrees to IA1, 90 degrees to IA1, IA excess. So this is going to be IA1 excess. So this is going to be EF. This is going to be EF. Okay. Is it over excited or under excited over? Because alternator operating at lagging power factor, alternator operating at lagging power factor, load should be inductive dominated, inductive dominated, absorb reactive power. So I have to supply reactive power. Anyway, from mathematics point of view or equation point of view, EF cos delta minus Vt is going to be positive. So, it will supply reactive power. Now, in this case, for example, P is variable. Okay. And let us think of field current is constant. Okay. If field current is constant, if field current is constant, means that EF is constant. Okay, actually we can analyze in detail like you know how to analyze uh, if you sit in the air gap and all that's meant for detailed course. Okay, anyway like you know if EF is constant, if EF is constant for example length of EF, okay, so length of EF should be constant. 
okay so this ef should be constant okay so if i think of length of ef here or length of ef here or length of ef here or length of ef here is going to be constant okay now for example for example if ef came to here this is going to be ef if ef came to here okay what is ef sin delta ef delta okay so ef delta ef sin delta so ef sin delta for the first case to second case ef sin delta is increased ef sin delta is increased means that active power should be increased p increase okay now what is output power vt ia cos pi vt is constant ia cos pi ia and this is going to be power factor pi okay so ia cos pi okay so ia cos pi should be increased now ia cos pi should be increased and ia should be at 90 degrees with respect to ia axis so ia2 should be here this is ia2 why because ia1 cos pi is this much space is increased okay output power is increased okay now let us think of for example if i increase delta again okay for example if delta is here length of ef here and length of ef here and length of ef here is going to be same under that conditions this is going to be ia3 axis 90 degrees to here 90 degrees to ia3 axis is going to be this is ia3 okay because ia1 cos pi should be less than ia2 cos pi should be less than ia3 cos pi okay so then what is happening means when this ia1 uh, active power p active power from black to blue is increased blue to black again ef sin delta is increased the active power is increased now when you are going to get maximum power when maximum power is going to be here okay so if ef is here ef is here then i'm going to have here okay so this is going to be ia4 axis 90 degrees to this line okay i have to get 90 degrees to this line okay so this is ia4 okay because this is ia4 axis 90 degrees to here ia4 and ia4 cos pi 4 should be more than ia3 cos pi 4 pi 4 should be more than uh, ia2 cos pi 2 should be more than ia1 cos pi 1 because the active power from here to here to here to here is increased okay and this is going to be means delta equal to 90 the angle between vf and vt is going to be 90 delta equal to 90 is going to be maximum output power now if you think of black ef cos delta minus vt is going to be this piece so it is supplying the active power so this is over over excited over excited synchronous machine supply the active power now if you think of blue okay ef cos delta this is going to be delta no? from here to here this is going to be delta so ef cos delta equal to vt means that it neither deliver nor absorb reactive power so this is going to be normal now if you think of here okay ef cos delta is less than vt means that it will supply negative reactive power means that it will absorb reactive power so this is under okay and here also this is under only because ef cos delta delta equal to 90 degrees cos delta is going to be zero so ef cos delta minus vt okay so ef cos delta is going to be zero okay so in this condition it will like you know it is also under excited only because negative reactive power it will supply or positive reactive power it will absorb so ultimately here this is going to be p maximum conditions okay and there is no difference between motor and generator okay so in motor for example if you try to draw okay in motor what will happen like you know for example if i think of vt here okay maybe let me think of ia is leading ia1 is leading 90 degrees to ia1 going through vt okay now ef should i draw on left side or right side right side okay why because ef should lag behind vt in motor so ef should be here means that ix should be here 
okay you don't bother about vt minus iaxs or vt plus iaxs is going to be f and all don't bother okay because while writing the equation equations will take care okay now ultimately f should lagging motor f should lead generator for example in this case same same story for example p is constant okay so p is constant p equal to constant means that f sin delta should be constant f sin delta should be constant so f the angle between vt and f is delta the angle between vt and ia is pi okay so f delta f sin delta so f sin delta should be constant f sin delta is going to be constant okay now for example for example ef is variable here okay so for example ef r if if is variable okay if it is variable what will happen like you know length of ef i can reduce okay because by reducing field current okay actually if you guys definitely have some friction kind of stuff here okay but don't bother this is enough to solve problems in your gate examination okay now for example this is ef2 okay so if it is ef2 length of ef is reduced okay and the moment power is constant ia cos pi should be constant so where is ia cos pi ia pi ia cos pi so this is going to be ia cos pi which should be constant which should be constant because power is constant so if ia axis is like this 90 degrees to ia axis going through in this particular region is going to be ia2 now ia1 cos pi equal to ia2 cos pi now for example if i try to reduce this is going to be f3 this is going to be f3 so f1 is more f2 is less f3 is still less length okay so this is going to be ia3 axis ia3 axis means that 90 degrees to ia3 going through in this particular ia cos pi is going to be ia3 okay now for example if i think of f minimum okay so this is going to be f minimum okay if it is ef minimum ef sin delta is going to be f minimum now if it is ef minimum this is going to be ia axis 90 degrees to ia axis in the in ia cos pi should be same okay ia cos pi should be same in in line with it in the same area and 90 degrees to ia axis is going to be ia4 okay similarly like you know for this phasor also for this phasor also we what we have drawn we have drawn like this generator if we draw like this it's going to be motor okay so these phasor diagrams though you feel it's okay because easily you may remember 2d diagrams that is v and inverted v cos but no okay so basically we have to depend upon phasors only okay so just by using this how to solve problems let us see almost like you know 70 percent or 80 percent of complete synchronous old gear problems can be solved with only these four let us see